Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'll make sure to put that on the list. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me, hey, you got to paint his toenails before you put him in the ground. Have all the Paul Bears do it too. <laughs> That's right. That's if, right. he, if he can find, if That's he can right. find ten, That's and right. we can yeah. wear, we can wear flip flops. That's right. Yeah. No, I'm right. assuming I'm gonna be one of no, them. No, so. hey, no, everybody, everybody goes bare uh, foot, you know, uh, without any barefoot shoes, with painted toes. That's right, barefoot with with Mardi Gras colors. <laughs> You got it, buddy. Hey, everybody, <laughs> ten people have to paint one toe. If it's if it's if it's one of your last wishes, you got it, buddy. I, I'll, I'll you still couldn't it. trust Willie, though. I'll do it for you. Oh, hey, ain't no telling what that boy should. You guys don't have to go get a pedicure before. Yeah. That's fine. <laughs> That's terrible. If they if they if they cream if they cremate him, I'll take the urn with me. <laughs> I'll sit him right there beside me on the chair. <laughs> <laughs> I carry that rascal everywhere with me, <laughs> and talk to him like the boys. Yeah. <laughs> and the boys. If we do it, can we get it made in the color of one of them big teacups? Say though, uh, we've already I've already bought his casket. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there's still time. We can sell. Uh, hey, they sell them all the time on Facebook. <laughs> Slightly used casket. Yeah, his is camo. Only one or two. Oh. Only one or two occupants. <laughs> like new, <laughs> one owner. That's, that's right. Well, Never been used. Right, yep. right. Oh man. Never been used by a live person. <laughs> that's right. Animals only been buried in. It. Never been in the ground. Well, welcome back to the duck call room. <laughs> oh, we rolling. We are rolling, and it is so good to have Miss Christine back. Size <laughs> truth fact sayer. Kicker. Yeah, size truth <laughs> sayer. That's right. Um, no, it is. It's good because oh. I'm glad you're back because I had to be st size stand in for the Valentine's episode because oh, you were double right. booked. Yeah. yeah. And I'll just say you look much better sitting next to him than I do. So thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. Yeah, but, he, and he was getting too frisky. <laughs> I, thought I, I thought I was going to have to slap him a couple of times. <laughs> if you could reach that high. <laughs> well, you kept yeah. saying don't and stop, so I didn't know which one to do. So. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't. Stop. I noticed Sai's been on his best behavior this morning already, and he left those glasses off his face for the podcast. Where are your glasses? Don't remind him. Nope, nope, nope. I ain't, I ain't got two new pair. Oh, my gosh. And they ain't cooler than these. They're polar, <laughs> Polaroid. I wonder what Miss Christine thinks they, about they're them. They're the ones that you can actually see in the water when you're fishing. She said they were night night vision only. And rain. No, that's, that's them are my sunglasses. <laughs> so night. he's wearing them in the house. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, you talking about dark? They're also good no. for watching Marshall Dillon. Oh no, hey, hey you talking about dark? Like right now? Hey, if you put them on, it's like, hey, that light goes away. Yeah, hey, pull your mic oh. a little bit closer to you. Yeah, Johnny D ain't gonna so, pull it to you today. I don't have the microphone. Well, this is beautiful. Well, there you go. There mic. you go. Yeah. You, know, well, you would you want to hey, swap? Look, no, they're trying to make this idiot proof, and hey, it's not. Well, you yep. can't spell no. You can't spell idiot without si. That's right. You can't spell idiots. So maybe there's more than one of you. Well, you always hey, said hey. you got more than one in your head. So we'll go with that. Yeah. But uh, no, Christine, what do you what do you think about your husband's new eyewear? I'm I'm interested because I was sad when he lost the glasses she because that's all I had ever known him in. So well, you tried to save the day by knocking his lens out. And then he just bailed on all of us and yeah. got them things. Well, I, I even ordered them. Uh-oh. Yeah. But, see, I was thinking he would be rational <laughs> and use them. Did you say rational and yeah. reasonable, the same rational, sentence? logical? Uh, uh, uh. You, I know. You're truly rational. Those are all know. things that do not describe a Robertson. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Especially this one. Dang. I can oh. hope Alex that Rebecca. sometimes, you know, he would yeah. come to the adult side. No. No, he found out being a kid I, pays oh, way no, better. Oh, no, I would rather I would <laughs> rather go to the dark side than come to the adult side. I'm kind of one in the same, ain't oh, I? I, That's why I didn't do it. There you go. That's why I stayed a kid my entire life. Oh, that, and you had a woman to keep you young, you know? Right, there you go. <laughs> Even if she is a mean redhead. 
She is sitting right beside you now. I know. Okay. Not I know. mean. She'll give me the nut. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna get it. <laughs> One of my favorite things. She ain't gonna do it on television, but she gets me. Okay. Miss Christine okay. has power over Sai, and I've seen it a lot. If Sai <laughs> is telling the story and he's got his hands going like this, she'll grab those hands and she'll put them down, and he goes. Hmm. I literally. <laughs> That's his power button? No, no, yes. Hey, yes. no, no. He, he literally forgets what he's saying. I literally cannot talk. <laughs> Without his hands. The first time she did it, I was telling somebody something. And Way she didn't want to hear back. it. She just Way grabbed back. my hands, and I'm, I'm telling you, my mind went blank. <laughs> and it may have never even come back. <laughs> I'm serious because I it literally it left. I've never seen a man who's. <laughs> Let me try it with I mean, you. I, I, I mean, no. here, hey. I can still talk. I can formulate a thought. I, oh no, I, you're like I you're like Ricky Bobby. Oh no, you whatever. Hey, no what to do with your hand? Like you yeah. just you, you just you, you just move them. Okay. Hey, that's she, why you were so good at making read. Hey, yeah. look. That's why you made so much racket. I literally just went blank and was just, yep. I was looking at her going, <laughs> and I couldn't say nothing. Well, Christine, if you'd have known that that night he trapped you talking you into marrying him, you, you probably could have right. got out of there. Right. Yeah, you could have. You could have got out of that uh, restaurant before, <laughs> say, say before 15 4 hours. a.m. Yeah. in the morning. <laughs> oh. It's uh, been a ride. I did, for, I did feel sorry for them people, though. Because I, I, we didn't leave for probably, what, 4 a.m., maybe 5 in the morning? Look at her. What time uh, was it, Christine? Yeah, let, here you go, fact checker. It was 1030. <laughs> <laughs> they closed at 11. Right. And it <laughs> but, was about 4 a.m. when we left, if I'm telling you. 1120. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, I think I, that's the only reason she married me, so that the people could go home. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. Hey, I went, okay, I'll, all right, I'll say yes to this idiot. We can leave. I kind of wish I we could find one of them workers at that place and get their account of that night. That would be fun. Yeah. The <laughs> only thing is, you got to watch out because I, there's so many outlandish stories that Cy tells, and then I find out that a lot of them are true. You know, well, I mean, they, I've met people who were in the stories that I didn't believe before, so. And even when we fact check him, a lot of times he's true. He comes out to be true. There's shades of truth in all of them. It just depends yeah. on how much truth is there and how much is fluff. Um, you know, but that's part of it. That was my phone. Let me turn that off. It's not my wife, so I don't have to answer it. Uh, uh, hey, it's it your HR department. It ain't, yeah. it ain't the kid. <laughs> it boy, ain't my so wife hey, and kids, no. so it doesn't matter at this point. Um, Everybody else gets lost. Yeah. Turns out, I guess, apparently my phone vibrating there in the middle of this podcast would make me blank. So, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's all it takes to get you. Yeah. So, so I want to know, and everybody, and all the fans want to know, too. Okay. Christine, what's it like to be married to the uh, most popular reality star of all time? Uh-oh. And a hush falls over the crowd. Look, so I can't say nothing. He, he can't even look. Well, I don't consider him that important. Because <laughs> he's always been with you. Yes. Gotcha. <laughs> she said I don't Look at him, Martin. Him that important. <laughs> and he still well, is I funny because he makes me laugh. He really does. And mm. sometimes he's so irritating. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> but you all don't see that part of it. That's hey, only Christine, I've been here for 14 years. I've seen that part. Okay. <laughs> but on the whole, he's a good guy. He so. is. He's a great human. Yes. Even if when he did smoke, he gets in your truck of a non-smoker and just fires up about three of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Didn't bother me a bit. <laughs> I was over there choking. I was like, dang gum, man. <laughs> But what are you going to say? He was uh, He can't say nothing. But he did give that up. He I did. Mean, just Cold like turkey. that. Total. Unbelievable. Yes. Unbelievable. Because he's not really that a strong personality. Uh, he's a funny personality, but not. you wouldn't think he's strong. You can defend yourself. That depends. <laughs> yes, yeah, see. It does. That depends. He's very opinionated. Uh, um. 
and stubborn. Oh, bing, bing. Wow. Yeah. So he, he and Jace guy. are the most stubborn that I know from the Robertson hey, clan. I am the easiest to get along with with anybody. Uh-oh. Her eyes got real big. <laughs> Si, you ain't got to sit here and take this from your wife and your best friend. Yeah, I take it. I take it. I got you back, well, God. Yeah. yeah, I yeah. There, there's. He does not admit he's ever wrong. Well, I, there have been what times when you're right all the time. I think uh -oh. that comes with being a male. <laughs> I suffer from that same disease. <laughs> I'll show him where he's wrong. And he he won't allow to agree to it, you know. Even if it's a word, you know, this, the meaning of a word, I can show him in the dictionary. He still will not agree that he's wrong. He's just misunderstood. Yeah, I've been Mr. there, Mister Misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's the best thing about y'all's relationship over the past fifty years that y'all have been together? I think we left the impression before that. Everything was good, you know, and funny and happy. All the we had some problems, mainly because of me, that I didn't talk a lot when something was bothering me. Well, so I would pick, pick, pick. I mean, just <laughs> until I lost my temper, which was his goal, because then I would. Cough out, you know, what was wrong. But we've had some really hostile quarrels before. Boy, go ahead and preach it, girl. Yeah, but. <laughs> that's just marriage. That's marriage. <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. But over the years, he's my best friend. Mm-hmm. Because your best friend's the only person that can make you that mad anyway yes. to get you to that yes. point. <laughs> if they weren't, you wouldn't care. You'd just right. shut down and it wouldn't matter. Wouldn't matter. Yeah. And now it's just, there's nothing to fight over. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't neither one of you got the energy. Well, no. <laughs> they, yes, that takes too much energy to do. <laughs> and, it wor and it ain't worth it. Yeah. It's yeah. not. What good's it going to prove, yeah. right? Right. Right. Be and, and there's just nothing that we disagree with because uh, we're just partners. Except them glasses. Yeah, except those glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you tell him what's on your mind. I mean, over the last 10 or 12 years that I've been with y'all, you tell him what you think and what's on your mind a lot. Yeah. So that's got to be healthy. That's good. Well, let's take our first break. We'll and be when back. we come back, I've got a story about how I'm related to Christine. Oh, yeah. Wait, time out. <laughs> okay. Christine, did you know your husband is an HR nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Well, hey, he's, look, you got to be good at something. He's the reason we actually have HR people. <laughs> like, And Cy is the reason that if you don't have an HR department, you need to talk to the folks over at Bambi because not only can they do all your HR policies and everything, they can save you a ton of money at the same time where you don't have to have – an actual HR person who could cost, you know, about 80 grand a year or so. Oh, hey, that's you can get it for as low as $99 a month. Hey. Talk about being back in your pocket. Uh, yeah. Maybe I need, that's what I need to do, become an HR man. HR. No, no. <laughs> no, no. Well, actually, yeah, you do, because none of us would ever be in violation. But, uh, hey. <laughs> but if you want to do it the right way, you can talk to the folks over at Bambi. With Bambi, you get access to your own dedicated HR manager starting at just $99 a month. They're available by phone, email, real-time chat, so onboarding and terminations run smoothly. Team members reach peak performance and your business stays compliant with changing HR regulations. And with Bambi's HR Autopilot, you'll automate important HR practices like setting policies, training, and feedback. Look, cool thing is you call them up, your person, they're U.S.-based. They're your own personal concierge. HR managers can easily cost eighty grand a year, but Bambi starts at just $99 a month. Schedule your free conversation today to see how much Bambi can take off your plate. Go to Bambi.com right now and type in Duck Call Room under podcast. When you sign up, it'll really help our show. Spelled Bam, B-E-E.com, Bambi.com, and type in Duck Call Room. So, Philip. Not only are you Sai's best friend, now you're related? Well, I had to be related. At Southwest Washtenaw Parish, don't uh, go far, well, does it? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I'm here to tell you. Well, now. she's my sister in Christ, but also, you know, she was feeling bad one night, and and Sai said, uh, "Philip, take Christine up, you know, to the doctor to the after hours clinic." He said, "I can't do it, you know," and he can't. He's just he just can't do it. So I, we go up, and and they're not going to let me go back unless I'm related to her. I said, "Come on, Aunt Christine, we got to go. We got to go see the doctor." And she said, oh, "Okay, nephew Philip." So I, I signed her in and signed me yeah. in, and they said, "Right back here this way." And after our appointment, we came back, and Sai was pacing around, it's just looking out the front door, and we pulled up, and he was like, "All right, is everything okay? Is everything okay?" I said, "Sai, you do care, don't you?" He was well, like, hey. that's never been the problem. <laughs> right. Yeah. But when he wouldn't go, he was like, I can't go, Philip. And we came back and he's he was pacing the whole time we were yeah. gone. I was like, good grief. I don't like hospitals. No. No. When I'm in the hospital, uh, he will come to the door. You know, and say, hey, babe, how are you? And then he leaves. And he gone. And he's gone. He ain't wanted to nest there. No. No. Yeah. I'm not a management Oh, uh, crisis management person. So I can't remember why, but me and Christine got to know each other really well when I stayed about three days or however long it was in the, in the hospital in the room with you. Yeah. <laughs> so while I'd si have, would, while I'd si have to, would just come I'd have to, to visit. go call Si and give him the play-by-play. -play. Hey, everything's everything's good. Christine's doing good. But now when Si was in the hospital, Christine was in there with him every day as much as she could be. Yeah. Well, well, that's I think me. that's the and it's the nurturing side of a yeah. woman versus us guys are like. But he's always been that way, so it's not like it's something different. Yeah. Uh, when Tracy was born, he was there, but then an IG was going on, so I only saw him when she was born, and then when I called three days later, and said you've got to sign some paperwork. So he came just for that and then went back, and he didn't even come to pick me up from the hospital, <laughs> only because he was in, in an uh, inspection. Yeah. So this is something I'm used to, and so I have adapted, because at first it upset me. But then the more that I got to know him, that it's just something he just, he just cannot do. And that's fine. And it is. That is fine. That, that. Well, look, we've always had good friends. Yep. Our best friend in Germany, what was her name, Karen? Sharon. Sharon. Sharon, <laughs> Sharon snuck in the hospital because it's, it's, the old, it's the old thing about Ken's folks only. Yep. She was Christine's uh, sister. Oh, oh no. Look. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yep. She knew how much trouble we had had, you know, getting pregnant. You know, yeah. so I... When she finally convinced Christine, we, you know, about you're pregnant, you know, she told the whole neighborhood, well, we're pregnant, you know, screaming out the window. But anyway, she drove her car, found where she was at in the hospital, drove her car around the back, okay, under the window, <laughs> got on top of the car, crawled in the window, <clears throat> you know, is that true? Because no, right, she wasn't going to be. That's movie stuff. There, oh, no, man. no. She was not going to be left out. Oh, that's awesome. That's okay. a good thing. So, you know, she was, you, you're talking about a nut and her daughter. You know, when we become best friends, we could not lock our door. You know, we was on the third floor. Fourth. Oh. Fourth. Well, whatever. Hey, I got close. I only missed it one floor. You seventy five percent right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, I got halfway. <laughs> that's well, C plus. Of the way. That's C plus you know, where I come yeah. from. But anyway, hey, uh, you know, we locked the door one time and good grief, Christine threw Christina. a fit. Christina, oh, your your oh. best friend's uh, daughter, yeah, girl. daughter, yeah. Uncle, no, she okay. just well, hey, you got to pay bills at some point. Oh, well, hey, hey, you know, yo. I mean, it happened. I just, I, I just thought of something too. So for one night, you were. Phil Robertson, <laughs> right? I mean, well, if, hold on, let me you, think about if it. If you were her nephew, <laughs> I you guess, were technically Phil Robertson. <laughs> I guess I could have been. Yeah, yeah. I, I was. Pl I played the part. That look, that's right, pretty cool. Go. But you know, I, I I just wasn't gonna let her go back by herself. No, I'm, know? I'm with you. Um, and she needed somebody to be there with her. And so I said, "Hey, take care of it." You know. Yeah. And I was glad to do it. Yeah. 
well, that's a man knowing what he can and can't do, which a lot of times yeah. is a – the, is now, use pretending. And no. let me tell you this: it ain't there. Yeah, that, I've got my limitations, and one is when the pilot says we're going down. <laughs> you're out. <laughs> Have I told you this story? <laughs> yeah, the pilot. Well, yeah. I don't. I don't know if I fully yeah, told it on did. this podcast. This one, the windshield busted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. And oh, Christine yeah. is like, uh, you know, she's like, side is just like going back to sleep. But Christine was so calm. She said, "Honey." <laughs> We all are going to die one day. <laughs> I said, yeah, but not today. She said, Philip, calm down. And everybody, it's just like the Twilight Zone. But you know what? That just shows that their wisdom and just more maturity in some areas, you know, where I just was like. Mm. That's why moms are the greatest individuals. Oh, yeah. Even right my there. wife that I thought would freak out with me going down, she's like, you heard what Miss Christine said. Well, hey, we've had a good life. We've had a good life. Uh-huh. We've got our kids We're going to die. Put the landing gear down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was, yeah, it was a bad, uh, rough, speak, rough, rough story. Speaking of we did good, make it. Speaking of a good life, you know, when I started running around here with Cy, he, if the camera went to him, he would be quiet. It, yeah. So... Behind closed doors at your house, was he still a goofball or was yes. he quiet then? No, oh, okay. No, no. He like just that. didn't want to do it in front of the camera at that he, point. Yeah. Okay. Until they. <laughs> so this you were. She's got a lot of goofball in her, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, she's got to be yeah. to stay with you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It that always comes back to you. That it always, always comes back to you. That ain't a one way street. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that street go both ways. Wow. Back and forth. I was just curious about that because he would. Whenever we'd be duck hunting, if the camera went to him, he'd go. He wouldn't do nothing. Yeah, he did that for a while. I got to be honest with you guys. I woke up today ready to take on the world. And I felt good. But you know what? I still went in there, got my one scoop of athletic greens. Boom. Wham. Down that stuff. And I was ready to roll. I feel very I'm 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 ready to go. What and do you want to do? And your 75 <clears throat> ingredients that you're getting in it are doing you oh, all kinds of wonders. They did me wonders oh, this morning. Get you all riled up, doesn't it? Got me all riled up, ready to go, feeling great. And look, whenever here's what Sai's talking about. Whenever you take one scoop of Athletic Greens in the morning, just one scoop, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help you start your day right. I can't guarantee you. Godwin, that it'll help you catch more fish, but it can't hurt because I'm, I'm I'm ready to go. My immune system's rolling. I feel good. I got a lot of energy. Well, how'd you find out about it? The, the, so the ultimate warrior, Captain America Christian, told Stone, mm. and Stone told me, and now me, I take it. My wife takes it. Oh, Phil McMillan, take, everybody's taking it. You feel great. It's a great thing. So here's the deal. It's one scoop in the morning. It le- costs less than a cup of coffee. So... It's probably the best thing you can do in the morning because I know all you out there are drinking different stuff every morning, and this is cost less than that. It's a great deal. Also, you're probably on a diet, whatever diet you're on, this one's good for it. Keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, Athletic Greens works with it. It contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals or artificial anything, anything. It supports better sleep and recovery. I slept so good last night, woke up, ready to roll, and supports mental clarity. And alertness. That's why I'm ready for anything, Sai. So right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition, especially in flu and cold season. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutrition insurance but i was just wondering if that personality i, I was wondering if it was always there and it you was. just it never was. saw it before it that yeah. happened that's what i was no, no, no. about uh, i mean i knew it was there playing poker but that's your hobby yeah. well no so no, no like, but, hey, you know, all my friends that i grew up with in, in in high school i went back to my fourth grade uh elementary school and and spoke to the kids there you know and it was the coolest thing I've ever done in my life. Okay. And but I, anyway, say it's, I say it's something because I've been with you on some pretty cool no, things. No, no, no. But anyway, 
You know, I, one of them, it was two teachers there that was in, you know, in school with high school. And one of them said, you were so shy when you was in high school. And I looked at her, I said, me? Shy? I said, I don't remember that part of me. You know, but she said, oh, yeah, you were. <clears throat> but the coolest part of that was that when I was standing up there talking to these four <clears throat> fourth graders, I actually, I said, you know, this is the coolest thing I've ever been involved in. I said, because I might be looking at the next president of the United States, or I could be looking at the next doctor that comes up with a cure for cancer. I said, y'all have got y'all's whole life in front of you. You know, and I said, hey, look around and look at each other. I said, because y'all are fixing to spend the, like, the next 12 years growing up together. I said, some of you may even marry each other, you know. <clears throat> but that was just, just the coolest thing. And some of them, you may have been looking at the next Cy Roberts. Hey, look, hey, Cy, yeah, have no. you ever thought about this? One of your teachers was looking at you when you were young, and you would grow up to be this reality star and go and preach the gospel to thousands of people. Did you ever think? No, no? the teachers wouldn't look at him and no, think. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, look, hey. My teachers hated me. Did you hear what she said? No. What, what did you say? I said, your teachers would never have looked at you that way. <laughs> no, no, they looked at me with hatred. <laughs> okay, some of so No, no, I'm serious, because some of them even told me, I hate your guts, Robertson. Why did you they know? say that? Uh, they hard-headed. Well, no, no, because I was, a horrible, I was a horrible student. Okay, I did not apply myself. Okay, because well, I didn't, I didn't like school. Period. Well, then, what were you applying yourself to while you were at school? Then, if it wasn't uh, education, well, it was daydreaming. Yeah, <laughs> I'm interested. Yep. Yo, Keep going. Say, I'd be there, and my eyes open, and I'd be sound asleep. That's yeah, where you I, learned to sleep with your eyes. No, open. no, I'm serious. Yo, I, but I was a horrible student, I, and that's why I tell kids all the time: do not be like me. Actually, learn your teachers. I had I had fabulous teachers, okay, to put up with me, okay, and they actually taught me a little bit. And you uh, made it all the way to like two days of college. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, hey, no, I spent a whole semester there, but that was a waste. I'm talking of time. about days in class. Yeah, yeah. I know. Like yeah, two that was of a them. waste of time, and I. You well, know, I, he tried college. Um, oh, seven eight times. Yeah. Really? Least, oh yeah. yeah. I, I didn't I know kept, that. I kept going back in the military. Yeah. Because they said, well, you need to go in and get uh, some kind of degree where you get promoted. Oh, well, it didn't work out. College just he was did not try. me. And it was about seven or eight times. Yeah, hold on. Uh, after he got out of the military the first time, he was going to Louisiana Tech. Okay. That lasted about six weeks. There you go. And then he went back to the military. Uh, well, I, I had I had something that, that kind of threw me off as a reason I could never complete it. Yeah, when you know like 20 people that have two degrees and they're down at McDonald's and Burger King flipping burgers and have, and are educated, it kind of, it's a kind of a turnoff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, you want me to waste how many years of my life, eight, <laughs> to get me a piece of paper saying I'm a smart guy? No, uh, thank you. Hey, but look at me. I, I can't get a job. I got a biology degree. It's coming in handy right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, there you go. You know. <laughs> well, you're asking about, you know, about him when he came into his own, mm -hmm. about the joking the, and everything. To the rest of the world. The rest of the world. Yeah. When he was in the military, he was very well loved by the I, men in his unit. Mm -hmm. I can see that. He's and a natural born leader. And then there was a... Temporary duty out in California, and the sergeant major told him that he was going to go, but not because of his job. He was going for morale. I, I can see that. Yep. I also know that if me and him been friends like in our early 30s, we'd have gotten a lot of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that would have not been good. Because I'm full of bad ideas, and he's full of yeses. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and he's uncontrollable. Yes. I'll tell you that. Uh, he's a he's a great audience when you need a crowd, too. I can tell you that right now. He's, he's, well, yeah, I, you I know, think we can do that. I never knew the, the uh, shy or, or withdrawn sigh. Me either. When, well, yeah, no, you didn't. But when we met, 
you know, we met at a, it was my house at a men's Bible study, and Jason, Willie, and everybody was there, and they had told me, hey, our uncle's crazy, but you're going to love him. He's got great stories, but he, he can't hear well, so you got to get real loud. <laughs> and they told him that I couldn't hear at all, but I could read lips. So that's our first meeting, and after that, of course, we were yelling at each other and hollering and for forty-five minutes, and then he's trying to run away from me, and I'm grabbing him and turning him around. Well, I can. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I said I like this guy, you know, <laughs> and I've never seen any any other side of him, you know, since since that was when you first moved back, I guess, and started working down at Fields. Yeah, I just remember just when we started when I started duck hunting down there. So I just sat down there. He didn't say a whole lot. And then the camera. That's where y'all met? Yeah. That okay. was, I did by, not know that. By, but with playing poker, I was like, that guy's loud at the poker table. Yeah. But, and this duck blind, he don't say a whole lot. Of course, you're sitting in there with Phil and Jason. If you sneeze wrong, you flared them, and then you get yeah. chewed out. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, like, yeah. don't shoot at anything. So I also understood. And I was like, you know, maybe he's just towing the company line here. He don't want to listen to his kinfolk gripe at him. I get that, too. Yeah. And, uh but then when the, the when the big camera started coming around, he started getting a little more lively, and he had finally sat there and taken enough from Jace, I guess, and, and just gave it back to him one morning about shooting and everything else. And I was like, "My man, I'm, oh, sitting, no, next, yeah, no, I'm I, sitting next to you. Yeah, Come I, on, let's I, sit next to each other. This is gonna be fun." I here. had had enough. So then I got to where I'd poke the bear. You know, yeah, I sit over oh, yeah. there. I'd sit over there and <laughs> like think about believe that you say one, about you, one time. <laughs> they couldn't get fit. Couldn't get Cy on camera. So they snuck in and they put a camera where he'd be sitting. And then Jason poked him. Oh, yeah. To get him going. And then afterwards, when they showed him on film, he said, oh, I didn't know that was me. Yeah. So oh, yeah. after that, he let it all hang He out. let her fly. <laughs> let yeah. her fly. I was, I was there the morning he got poked. I was like. <laughs> okay then all right now now, now we cool now so yep. now i'd poke every morning i <laughs> i's baby brother world-class pot stir right you know i stir that pot if i got to that ain't no big deal mm-hmm. there but it was uh no i was just curious if prior to duck dynasty that he it was always in there just it was it never was. it was never shown to gq public because, no you know like you just didn't know it y'all just made me realize something What's that's that? why i had a whole bunch of trouble in the military Career, is that I'd been poked so much, <laughs> okay, that I took it out on the military. <laughs> Go, I bet that's I, true. Because I, I'm serious. I, I just thought about that. I said, no wonder, because I would come home, and I said, well, the colonel flew me out of his office this morning, this morning again, and she'd say, why do you do that? <laughs> You're only harming yourself. I said, yeah, but that man knows where I stand. Yeah. <laughs> it's out of principle. Dad. Yeah, it's, yes. the, principle. it's yes. the principle of the thing. <laughs> he knows thing. where I stand. Oh. You know, but then I, I just, that just hit me. That's why, <clears throat> that's why my, my officers in charge of me had such a hard time with me. We just did it because we knew it made good entertainment. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. You know, everybody had been poking me all my life. Because you just saw the guy that was so happy go lucky just get ornery and irate at his nephew who's yeah. named after him. So it was actually it was always perfect. It just because y'all couldn't be more similar. Oh, no. I don't care how much he argues that. Point, oh yeah, but y'all. Right. Well, that's the maddest. I think that's the maddest me and Jason Robertson have ever got. Is this time. when you're in there picking up the decoys? Oh and the no, no, yeah. Over? oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And what was, what was <laughs> I, heard that I was out there beside him. Yeah, that's hey, the problem. What was so ridiculous about it? is that he killed one There was ducked 60 yards from him. He killed one that was 125 yards high. Okay, yeah. and I said, hey, it's your own fault. I said, why didn't you kill three in a row that was at 60 mm. instead of shooting that one that was up there, you know, in the, you know, 20,000 feet. Because never forget, he's a producer too. That wouldn't have made near as good of an argument. <laughs> if he'd have killed three, it wouldn't have been near as much your hey, fault as him only killing one. That's the first time one. I've ever seen Phil Robinson put his foot down. Yeah, he said we got to have a meeting because he we gonna have a meeting, and then he he said, "Hey, y'all ever pull that crap again?" He said, "I'll whoop every one of you." Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah, he got hot. Oh yeah, we had a and meeting. He said, "Now here's the here's the deal. When I go get the boat." Don't nobody move. Don't go anywhere till the boat pulls up in the decoys. Yes, I got me in trouble. 
No, well, everybody got in trouble that day. Yeah. We, <laughs> yeah. we got back to the house. Phil circled us up around the tailgate. I, I felt like I was like, I felt like oh, I was a kid. You again. didn't have to so, bend over the hood of the car, oh, no. did you? No, but if he'd have said, grab your ankles, right, I, I guess did. I would have. Hey, I mean, oh, I don't hey, everybody would have that day because <laughs> yeah. hey, he was mad. He was hot. Yeah. Man. He was, was hot. Yeah. I was just like, well. Here it is, boys. This is where it all falls down. There's seven <laughs> grown men there getting a tongue lashing from Phil. And you oh, know yeah. what? Did none of us say a word. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't we, have either. We were all smart. I didn't uh-huh. even want to make eye contact no, no. with him. There you go. I, I, that, I don't think college it, degree working for you. I, I yeah. don't think anybody did. I yeah. think we were all looking down on, on the ground. I was there moving that same piece of gravel 157 yeah. <laughs> times while he just steady chewing on us, you know. Mm. But it was uh that was fun. That was a that was a good rally cry there. That was a good one. That that one that Yeah, one you gotta me. have that clear understanding, you know what I mean, from time to time. Well, like, that one had gone too far. We always yeah. had little spats in the blind because yeah. that's yeah. what guys do, locker yeah. room mentality. Yeah. But that one got just downright uncomfortable. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, me and Jace was nose to nose. And hey, I thought I was about to. Hey, oh, hey oh that's my. too stubborn in mine. Oh, no, no. And I look, thought I was about to. had our fists doubled up. Yeah. I thought, I thought it was going to go to fifth city. I really did. I thought I was about to watch two grown men scratch yeah. gravel. I didn't know oh, what yeah. was about to happen, son. Yeah. Anyway, let's take another break. We'll be back <laughs> right after this. I wanted to ask Cy a question. Um, Phil gives everybody nicknames. Oh, yeah. So tell me, like, your brothers and your sisters. In, a, in and, high school. And, my, and my name, my nickname, Perchmouth. That's what Phil called, that's called what, you? Hey, that's I've all, never that's, heard that before. That's all I was known by in, in high school. Really? What yeah. does Perchmouth mean? I, he just, he named me, we fished all the time. And he, he just, hey, it, Perchmouth. And, he called me out that one <laughs> you day. You knew this? It yeah. stuck. Christine didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, so what about goodness. your brothers and sisters? Oh, they probably had a nickname yeah. today, you know. The funny thing about that, though, is is that uh, Daddy, my father, <clears throat> he laughed. He'd be shaking all over and have crocodile tears coming out of his eye and not a sound coming out of it. Yeah. And and Tommy took after him, okay. you know, I, I, I never heard Tommy laugh out loud. Really? No. <laughs> you boy, that was funny. No. Now, Two gun Tommy, you did hard enough to get a smile out oh, of no, him. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. I'm serious. He'd never laugh. He was like daddy. Yeah. What about your sisters? Uh, Same way? No. No, they was very both of them was vocal. Yeah. What about your mom? <sighs> mom was was funny was she would you would do something and she said, I'm gonna get you for that. And it let it go, you know. <laughs> now now she I gotta bring this up. I know you don't know this, Martin. But Granny is what I called her. Yep, everybody did. Yep. Cy was her favorite. Is that right? Oh yeah. yes. Oh and yeah. And so and so she really didn't like women. Am I right? Nope. Didn't like. Yeah. Yeah. But she liked Christine because you were her favorite. Yeah. Well, at first she, you know, cause, you know, I actually called my mother and said, "Hey, I, I think I found the woman I've been living with her." Okay. So you know, I'm gonna marry. Yeah. You know, and like, that's mama's boy, you know. And, you know, well, it, it, she didn't really, you know. So she, finally, wasn't, she wasn't excited about yeah, that. Yeah, she wasn't excited about it. But then she finally called her over after like two or three years after we'd been married. And she said, I'm so glad you married, you know, my son. Mm. You know, you're all the one that, you know, is, is for him. You know. That's why we get along. I didn't, well, we're, we're both the baby boys. Of well, the no, no. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. I was mama boy. Big <laughs> yeah. Time. Big time. You, know? you bet. Yeah. Right. Circle me down for that. I'm yep. trying to figure yeah. out which yeah. one of mine is going to be a mama's boy right now. I think I got it nailed down already, but we'll see. <laughs> no, but that, yeah, that's cool. That's the one woman that Granny likes. But, I, yeah. but, <laughs> hey, but the funny thing about it was, okay, look, you know, people say God ain't got a big, a good sense of humor. Oh, yeah, he has. You know, we had a bush in our yard, and it grew perfect switches. Oh. Okay, and Mama was... She had an evil side to her because she was a uh, all her all her kin folks were evil too. They're mean. Now, now you, they were just plain mean. Well, they're Is mean. that right? They just plain mean. Mean spirited. Yo, oh yeah. Yeah, that's the and, and Mama had that in her because she would make you when you yo she would let you go yo you'd break a knife. I'm gonna I'm gonna get you for that. 
She what? didn't get you right then. No, no. I'm going to get you for that. That's you know, even worse. Two days, two days later, you do something else, you drop a glass, break it or whatever. I'm going to get you for that. Well, it will finally come to a boil, you know, and the day that she's going to get you. The reckoning. Oh, no, yeah, the reckoning. <laughs> oh, no, you'd be running around and she'd just be tearing you up with one of them switches that she made you go pick. Oh, she must have been kid to my Oh, no, no, no. Pick. Look, so, hey, you know, she's just tearing me up. I'm running around because all she's doing is like this, and that thing is just eating you alive. Eating the inside of the yeah. calves up, yeah. son. Both sides. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so I get to the age of about 12. I know it all. So I go out there, and I, I grab that bush and shake them a couple times. Nope, nope, that's not too good. Nope. That, oh, oh, here it is. This in a break perfectly. Yeah. Break it off, brought it back to it. So, hey, she wore that out on me. It broke. She said, now go pick me another. Go pick me another one. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't done yet. Oh, no, no. She yeah. didn't have she that said, mad yeah. out in it. Yeah, she said, go yeah. get me another one. She said, and hey, young man, just so you know, if this one's break, we'll pick that whole bush today. Ooh. You know? So, hey, I went and picked one, and she whooped me with that one for about three months. <laughs> and she literally... Busted down and bawled like a baby when it broke. She uh, said, boy, was that ever a good one. That thing lasted for three solid months. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, and I've that thing, my rear end. it made these legs up. Ooh, I've had my rear end wore out by a switch. <laughs> Golly. When I was pregnant with Tracy, we bowled. We were in a league. And uh Uh-oh, you done got him tickled. I know. <laughs> and he's turning red. Because it's one. Keep talking. One of the guys on our bowling, bowling team, team showed up oh, at our apartment. I know this one. Yeah, yeah, this one's good here. Yeah. This one's good. Yep. And so he's talking and he's talking. Then he just puts into it, wanting to know if I'd be interested in swapping. I said, in what? Yeah. Okay. I, I still think, you know, that I'm a little naive at that time. Oh, she she was naive about this because I told her I said, "Hey, you watch that, watch that old boy." You know, it was his older. wife was beyond yeah. beautiful. No, 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 I mean, no, no. She that's, was. That's what got me. Okay, and not only that, my wife is carrying Tracer, and we had all these two or three years of problems trying to get pregnant. This idiot knows the story, and then he, I leave home and he slips in and you know. Yeah. Well, he's talking, and yeah. I'm just telling him, no, no, you need to go. You need to go. Well, he wouldn't do it. So I go next door and bring Sharon over. And Sharon ran him off. Yeah, Sharon ran him off. <laughs> She's a little banny rooster. And so she thinks. <laughs> I, he, she was thinking, he, Sharon fixed to whoop him himself, herself. She's about to climb that rascal like a Oh, yeah, she fixed to climb him up and call him, boy. Sharon didn't think I should tell Si. And that's not how we go. So, yeah, I told and she was going to try it Sharon's way. Yeah, I tried it Sharon's way. Yeah. But I just couldn't do it. Yeah. But then I, I, I just said, whoa, whoa, come here. You know, she was fixing to leave. And I said, no, no. We had bowling that night. I said, hey, sit down. What's going on? You know. And she said, why? Well, I, I said, no. This, this is not going anywhere until we get this out and open. So she finally broke down and said, oh, I said, I said, what did I tell you? I told you to watch that clown. Well, I, I, you know, she said, well, hey, you don't let it. I said, oh, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> but he wasn't with us. He's lying. He's lying through your lying teeth. Through oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. The worst deal you know, when we showed up, oh, he, he was nice. Mm-hmm. And, and he got quieter and quieter. No, no. I'm sitting over there like a volcano. You're and, just hey, stewing. It's, yeah, it's yeah. fixed to erupt. It's fixed to blow the top of his mountain off. Well, finally, I just said, hey, oh, boy. I said, I, I, no, can't take it. <laughs> Yeah. I said, hey, let's go. The go. other guy went into the locker room. Yeah. yeah, I said, hey, let's go get a beer. Yeah. Okay. They go into the locker room. Yeah. Mm. So I will, I will get a beer and I take him inside because I, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I said, hey, come here, let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. And, and he, he smiled. And when he smiled, I couldn't stand it. I just, right here, <laughs> and just you know, up to his face like that right there. And I said, if you ever show up to my apartment. Microphone. Yo. 
I will uh, 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 kill uh, yeah. no, you. Yeah, no, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. I, will I knew those kill words you, were coming. I was trying and to I save will the editor. I kill you dead. <laughs> just don't stop. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I just, hot wasn't the word. Yeah. I said, you know all the story about how hard it was for us to get pregnant, and then you're going to hit on my wife. He's going to pull this stunt? Yeah, you're going to pull this. I said, son, I said, you're lucky I don't go ahead and just kill you right <laughs> now. <laughs> Evil comes in all varieties, oh, no. don't yeah. Yeah. Yes, Ooh. but always, you know, you get to see when karma comes back. Comes back. He drop a bowling ball on his foot. <laughs> no, on something actually, else. <laughs> this, this one was so he funny was a about driver. That. He was a driver for a full board colonel, and he was also selling drugs. Oh, oh no! Here, in well, the colonel's car. Sense. In the from the colonel's car. Here was the funniest part about this. Okay, this guy bowl normally. Yes. Two hundred, two hundred game. He was good. Hey, that night. He bowled like 73. Yep. That sounds like my bowling. So that is, oh, it I mean, was he, all, all there and throw the ball there. and sit back down. Throw yeah. the ball and sit back down. Oh, I'd be worried he's going to come at me with one of them 12 pounders upside oh, the back no, of my no, head. No, 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 no. She seen me mad twice. That was one of them. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. And she said, I don't want to ever see the third one. No. I said, well, yep. I'll probably kill somebody if you do. Yeah. <laughs> me neither. Oh. All right, another oh, question. No. Let's let's lighten it up a Ooh. little bit. Yes, um, <laughs> that one a, that one was a rough one. What uh, what does does I cook at home? Yes. What what's your favorite thing he cooks? Oh, that would be a toss up between the spaghetti sauce or the hamburger. Okay, that was a question they wanted to know. So okay. I was raving about his beef stew. Oh no, on that the was, last that's podcast, one, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. like his beef stew with the yes. fillet? Okay. I now, just what about the curious. bell peppers with the the hamburger meat inside it? Was that you cooking that? Yeah. Okay. Stuffed bell pepper? Yeah. I, you, I can get down with that. Yeah, a lot of bell pepper, a lot of onions. Lots of spices. A lot of spices. He just decides, he smells it and sees, oh, yeah, I'll put that in. <laughs> Christine mm-hmm. Papa Pauly wants to know, what do you like most about Louisiana? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you miss most about Massachusetts? <laughs> Kentucky. A gar- well, they said Massachusetts. Massachusetts, yeah. The coast. From when they lived there. But. Yeah. Uh, I would say the only thing I like about Louisiana is size here. <laughs> that's a plus. You sound, like, plus. you sound like Brittany now. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing. Oh, no. I thought, I thought she had died on me when she, you know, was in Alabama. Okay, let me finish answering the question first. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> let her yeah. talk, son. Oh. And what I miss about uh, Massachusetts is the four seasons and the fact that they have dirt, not sand, and there's not water everywhere. I like that, too. Yeah. No swamps. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can see all those things. But aren't you glad it's like early spring right now? See, them folks in Massachusetts are still freezing to death. Yeah, I know. I saw that. And it's 80 but, degrees out here. Yeah. Massachusetts, though, has winter. Yeah. Yeah, Octo- we ain't got that. October yeah, through April, usually. Yeah, eight months of it. Yeah. Yeah, eight months of it, so. We get about eight days of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe, yeah. if we're lucky. That's about all the winter we get, but. I can see I can see all those things. I thought that was funny because I I knew your feelings towards the great state of Louisiana. So. Oh yeah. Oh let's see. We got one more. And it just asked, What is your fondest memory of being married to Uncle Si? We'll close on that one. Fondest memory of being married to Uncle Si. Because I think this could literally be anything when you say fondest. So I, I'm yeah, just yeah, that's curious. very true. Uh, I think I would have to go with his determination. Okay. Of finding a doctor who could help me. That's awesome. And he just, I mean, when he went back in the second time, he was stationed at Fort Knox. I was staying with my parents until he got a place to live. But before I even get there, he's already set up an appointment with the infertility clinic at the hospital. So this shows, you know, that I was on his mind and an important part of it was getting help for me. 
So that was just, you know, awesome. That is awesome. We have a lot of military wives, husbands, right. and all listen to us. So any encouragement, anything you can glean uh, or, or, you know, you, well, you, you followed it for 20, what, 23 and a half, 24 and yeah. a half years. So if there's anybody with experience, it's you. So Well, one of the things that I think is important is you've got to be a strong person to be married to somebody in the military. And it's even worse now than it was back because now they go to all these dangerous places and the wives have to take care of stuff at home or, or the spouse being a man. So, you know, military husband. Yeah. Uh, and you can't have your life to go around him 100%. You've got to have a life of your own that can mingle in and so when he was gone, I would be dealing with the kids and with my job. And so, and I've had to do moves by myself. And that was just part of the game, you know, that this is what he does. This is what I have to do so he can do what he does. So in everything, you were supporting him. Yes, even everything. while he was gone. And that, yes. that, I think that is a, a key part to that is to be able to do that support even when they may not be around. Right. And that's, but you also had, you know, from the from the sounds of it, great friends. In, in Very much. Oh, yeah. You need to have that. Yeah. That, uh, if you don't have your friends in the military, you're going to be hurting. Yeah. Don't withdraw. Don't withdraw. Embrace the lifestyle. Yes. That kind of deal. Yeah. The, mil the military has got their own family. Yes. Okay. And and like she said, it's important that <clears throat> you know, they she has her her life. Okay? But then the key to it is when when you're back together from a deployment, don't waste the time you have together. Mm. Make that quality time. Love it. Yeah. Yeah, and but yes, that's about all I could give you. It give them is that when you are together, make it quality time, and then this day in technology, you know they yeah, it's much much better if they can talk you know, to each other while they're gone. Yeah, especially for the kids. Yes, because you, know? you know, like a letter is okay, but if you got Facebook and all this stuff where you can actually interact yes. together with it. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, so how long has it been now? He uh, he had the belief that he was not around with the children, that he was never there for them. So I just get pictures out, and I show him, and he doesn't remember the fact that he was with them that much. So he said, well, I guess I did have something to do with their bringing up. And look, hey, that was before That's Photoshop, it. too. Yes. So she didn't make it up. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> you know, she no cell up, phones. When I would be feeling bad about not spending enough time with them, you know, then that's when she broke out the photo album and said, okay, well, what about this when you're dressed up as the big Easter bunny? <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't even you know, remember it. it didn't, I didn't. Yeah. You dressed up as the Easter bunny? Oh, yeah. Yep. Six foot three Easter bunny. Well, you do that for my kids. Hey, <laughs> <All right. laughs> right, you get the outfit and I'll do it. Ah, I love right. it. You, I knew you yeah, would. That's, right. I, you get the outfit, and I'll do it. I just I asked the question, even though I knew the answer. Hold That's on. my favorite. Yep. Part I just want to say before we close out that Miss Christine, when you were talking a while ago, I almost got blinded by the ring that you have on your finger, and I know Sy si said that he gave you a cigar band. The first time you got married, hey, hey. but you got even with him now. I can guarantee yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, he did why, good. He did that's, good. That's why she got her hand resting on that table. She can't hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> that old arm get get heavy now. Oh well, let's close it out. We always close out with Bible verse. I've just got one pulled up. It's one of my favorites. Psalm ninety one one and two. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. So that one gets me through a lot of times where, you know, you feel a little down. You're like, why am I doing what I'm doing? What are we doing here? And then you just always remember, you've got a God that loves you. You've got Jesus fighting for you. You can dwell in him. 
and you can 100% trust him. Yep. So right. that's one that just helps me through life. Christine, thank you so much for joining us You're again. Welcome. As we always say, that chair is, we'll kick Johnny D out anytime you want to come. <laughs> so thank you so much. We'll see y'all next time here in the duck call room. We're out. Okay. Bye-bye. All right.